uh, depending on whether it's for sale or not. But no, it's not going on the market. But if you're interested, I'll be glad to show you around or whatever. So she just told me, hey, you sent me a letter. I'm not really interested in selling, but if the price is right, then I'll sell. Today, I wanna to actually show you guys the inside of one of my calls with a seller, somebody who I got in contact with, I sent them some information, they called me about wanting to sell their property, and I just wanna share that with you guys, because I think a lot of people get intimidated by not seeing every single step, and then this is a call from somebody calling me back off of a letter I sent them. So, I'm gonna comment on a couple things, I'll let you listen to the video, and then we'll recap at the end. So stay tuned, get your notepad out, drop any questions you have in the comments. I'm here for you. I want you to grow and I want you to buy some off-market real estate. With that being said, let's dive into the audio. Hello, this is Hayden. Yes, this is Storage. I mean, uh, who is this place? Who is what place? My name's Hayden and I'm not a place. I'm just a person. Oh, I said please, not place. I said who is this please? Oh, who is this? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't have very good here. Now, my name's Hayden Crabtree. I buy storage facilities. Yeah, I was just curious how you got... Now, let's stop there, right? The intro is all just about breaking the ice. I don't want to sound professional. I just want to sound like a person because we're approaching these as, hey, I'm just a people. I'm not some, uh, I'm just a person. I'm not people. I'm just a person. I'm not some big corporation. You're calling, uh, you know, some guy sent you a letter. That's the same guy that's answering the phone. You know, nothing tricky going on here. I'm just a guy who wants to buy real estate. Just breaking the ice. I was just curious how you got related to anybody associated with um, you uh, well, maybe I got yeah maybe I got the wrong information I mean you know that happens sometimes but uh, you know I try to go into the uh, county records there and see who owns it and then you know sometimes they give us businesses and I try to look it up but I will tell you sometimes I'm wrong well now the reason I was asking so right there, what she's saying is, is I sent this letter to the right address, but I sent it to the wrong person, right? So I sent the letter to her house, but I sent it to a guy who was not her, but she opened the mail anyways, gave me a call back. She said, what's going on? You sent this to the right address, but you addressed it to the wrong person. So is this a scam? What's going on here? And so I just want to say, hey, listen, you know, sometimes this is how I do it. I go look it up in the county uh, and, and try to send it that way. And sometimes it's wrong. So listen, I apologize if I'm wrong, but maybe I'm not wrong. Am I wrong? Let's see what she says. I'm wrong. Well, now the reason I was asking is has never owned anything. On curious where you got your information, but you uh -huh. are talking to the owner now. Well, good. I like so, talking to the owner. <laughs> so, uh, did you? I saw where you were interested in buying it. Do you know anything about it? Um, that I know. I'll story. tell you what I know. Uh, I know that I like buying storage facilities. I live down in Atlanta, and uh, you know, you came up with a storage facility within about an hour drive of my house, and uh, I'm looking to buy right now, and that's about what I know. So, could you? Please do me the pleasure of, of giving me a little more information. So right there, guys, you don't, when they're calling you, you don't have to know every single detail about the property because you, you should be sending a lot of letters, right? Sometimes your information is going to be wrong. People are going to call you. Just play it cool. You don't have to worry about knowing every single detail about every single person of every single letter you've sent. She accepts this answer as fine. She asked me, hey, you sent me the letter. What do you know about it? Hey, listen, here's what I know. I know I want to buy property. I know you made my list. And I know that uh, I probably need to learn a little bit more information about this. It doesn't have to be perfect in order for me to continue this conversation, right? So don't let that, because that's a common question you'll get. Hey, what do you know about the property? You sent me this letter. What do you know about it? Hey, listen, all I know is that you fell on my list. I sent out a couple of letters to different people. Uh, you know, obviously I already had the wrong information or maybe I had the wrong information, uh, you know, but let's continue the conversation here. Well, it's sitting on, uh, I don't know the exact number, but I know it's over eight acres. Okay. Uh, there's over 300 uh, boats, RVs, whatever, stored there. Uh, the building itself has a new roof. Uh, it's been repainted. It's had a uh, walkway to the building put in. Um, it's got a entrance gate so key thing here 
shut up, right? And what I mean by that is don't talk while the person is telling you about the property. When you get somebody talking, just let them talk, which is what I'm doing here. Come up to it and let you out. It does have a cover on the exit gate, so anybody on the outside cannot uh, access the eyes to it and walk in. Uh, It does have security. Uh, It's uh, one, two, three, five buildings, five buildings that are covered. One of them is a metal building that's up top that was put in in 2000. I don't see, it was bought in 2002, so this is, uh, I would say that building was put up in 2003. Uh Uh-huh. And you got the billboard on there too, right? I have a billboard in there. So what you can see right there, she didn't tell me anything about billboards. So what did I do while she was talking all there? I'm listening and I use uh, softwares where it comes in, where the call is recorded. If I ever have to go back and listen to the call, I can do that. So I'm not going to lose any information. But what I'm doing there, she didn't tell me anything about a billboard. I was on Google. I looked up the property and I obviously put my little man on the street there. Uh, and I looked around and there was a billboard on the property. So you can say, she didn't say anything about the billboard, but I'm asking leading questions. Oh, hey, there's a billboard there too, right? Making sure I have the right property and to continue to get her to talk. Uh huh. And you got the billboard on there too, right? I have a billboard and a cell tower. Boom. So she told me she had a cell tower too. I didn't even, didn't even know that. Didn't know that yet, right? So just getting more information out of her. You're rocking it. You own this place all yourself, or you you got a, a partner in it, or what? No, sir. Uh, one partner passed away. And so that was a really important question. One of the things I always want to know when I'm talking to somebody is, are you the decision maker, or is there anybody else who's going to help you make this decision of if it's time to sell your property or not? No, sir. Uh, one partner passed away, and the other partner wanted to be bought out. There was so three you of them. All yourself. And I own it all now. Congratulations, man. And on what you want to do or offer, uh, depending on whether it's for sale or not. But, no, it's not going on the market. I'm not putting it up for sale. But if you're interested, I'll be glad to show you around or whatever. Ma'am, I I really appreciate it. So she just told me, hey, you sent me a letter. I'm not really interested in selling, but if the price is right – then I'll sell, right? So now it's up to me to continue this conversation to really go and to figure out, is this a property I want to buy? Can I meet whatever prices that she wants? So I'm going to stop commenting now. We're going to listen to the rest of the call, and then I'll recap at the end of the call. Let's do that. Ma'am, I I really appreciate that. I really do, and I I can understand where you're coming from. Um, You know, are are you managing this place yourself? You have a manager on site that does it, or kind of tell me about how you're running the place. Right now, I am sole owner and manager. I have a grandson that will meet you. uh, You know, uh, he has the the cell phone with him because he's out and about. Uh, If you want to store something, uh, he'll make arrangements to meet you over there and Mm -hmm. uh, show whatevers and... You know, so he does help me out on the, the leg part. You know, I don't mean to, to, to poke and prod, but just kind of if I'm going to make you an offer on it, you know, how much uh, how much revenue do you bring in each month? Mm. I'd have to look and see. Uh, 10 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand, 40 grand. Um, and so how long have your prices been what they are? I would like to come up and, and see the property. I mean, I think that, uh, you know, two and a half million is definitely something that I can do. Um, you know, I just want to come up and see the property and look at all these improvements that you put into it and understand. How would you, how would you, I mean, we could just go ahead and schedule it. How would you feel about uh, Thursday morning? Rebecca, it was so nice to call you, and I um, I apologize I got the information wrong in the letter, but uh, it's really nice to speak with you. That sounds great. I can't wait to meet you. All right, you too. Thank you. All right, goodbye. Yep. All right, so we just listened to the whole call. A couple of really key critical things happened there. I understood what price she was wanting. Huge to get a price out of somebody. You know, they say in a negotiation, whoever gives their price first 
loses. So always key to be able to get the price out of them first. The other thing that happened is I understood how she's running the business and I understood what opportunities are there for value at. How long has it been since you've raised your rents? How are you billing people? What's your current systems in place? How are you managing it? When's the last time you raised your street rates? All of those things. And whether this is a house we're going after, whether it's a self-storage facility, multifamily property, all of these things apply. The important part was not step by step by step by step. Hey, what do you need to get out of somebody? What the important thing was, I want you to understand that it's a conversation. It's a guided conversation you're having with somebody about a property that they own so you can get details. And most importantly, figure out if you want to take the next steps with them or not. If you're in sales, they say, hey, always set the follow-up before you get off of the call. So this was close to me. So I set the follow-up to go see her and to tour the property with her. And I did. And we had a great time, actually. Uh, and then if I weren't, if this were in Florida, for example, I wouldn't have gone and seen the property. I would have just said, hey, the next step is is if I feel like I've gotten enough information to underwrite the property in my property stats. And I would go and I would analyze the, the deal in my property stats. And the next step would be, hey, can I get you on a Zoom call? If not, can I get you on a phone call to talk about what kind of offer I wanna make on this property? What does a conversation actually sound like with these sellers on the off-market deals? If you guys found this valuable, do me a favor, Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with a friend, share this with a real estate investing partner. I would really appreciate it. Uh, and in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. Be great.